potters like to talk about pots. It, we think about pots all the time. We make pots. We're always trying to make our pots better. And when we get together to sell pots, we end up first looking at each other's pots, looking at them intensely, um, picking them up, turning them upside down. We're just interested in pots. And at the end of the day, after a long sale, we eat off of pots, and then we sit and talk more about the pots. Um, it's a passion. And so I invited my friend Steve, who is a fantastic potter, um, makes beautiful work, just so well crafted, to come talk about what we look for in pots, what we admire, what we like. And we each picked out a bunch of pots uh, to bring here today to talk about. And so we'll be showing off some of the pots that we brought, some of our own pots, highlighting the things that we like in them, but we're also gonna be having this kind of moment of discovery as Steve shares pots that he brought that I really haven't looked at closely. I've bought this mug many years ago um, from Lisa. I think it was um, off the Airstream trailer, the Artstream. And at first I found her work really daunting. I mean, it's just over the top, mm -hmm. right? Color-wise, it, it, it's got sparkles. I would never, it wouldn't occur to me to put sparkles on my pots. Um, you know, it, it's a fiesta, mm -hmm. right? And building on to just the colors, there's the sprigging and uh, this floral inlay. Um, and I guess what I love about it is conceptually, you keep seeing the same theme done. The same kind of feel that you get from these floral lines you get in the rim and in the handle and in the, all the different colors of glazes and in the sparkle. Mm -hmm. over, the, over the top was one of the words that you used. One of the first things that, uh, that I noticed even while it was in your hand is um, over the top. As soon as you're coming over the rim, you're over the top literally and you're seeing this pattern inside, the same kind of pattern that's on the outside coming in. So you feel like you're actually being pulled <laughs> over the top, or I do, um, into this kind of celebration on the, on the piece. Do you buy pots that are unlike anything you would ever make? Absolutely, Be mm -hmm. and I think it's because uh, it's like people. That analogy that we've all heard of pots related to people um, is even stronger the, mm. the, the, the older I get. And it's like people. I really like people who are different mm -hmm. th than me. And there are pots that I, I think young potters struggle with this, Simon. A lot of times they want to make that pot right. that they can't make that's a very different pot. Yeah. Um, but they can still love them. Right. They can't make them. Yeah. I mean, we can't make what's not us, but we can try, but it's not, it doesn't work.